Makeup Minions, I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. As you all know, a new Annabelle movie is coming out soon and I'm so excited because she looks so creepy and I just had to do this makeup. So let's get started. If you like what I do and you would like to support me in my art, feel free to become a patron on my Patreon. After I have primed and cleaned my skin and added lotion, I'm going to go ahead and block out my eyebrows. I'm just using the old fashioned glue stick technique and I'm brushing the eyebrow hairs upward and outward and then gluing them down with the water soluble glue stick. Because this takes a while and you have to do many layers, I decided to draw in the general outlines of Annabelle's dress and her weird neck attachment thing and her frillies on her dress, just using an eyebrow pencil because it's easy to wipe off. To neutralize the color of my eyebrows, I go in with a green cream makeup. This is just the next color corrector and cover up those eyebrow hairs. Powder it heavily with a translucent powder and I'm going over it with another layer of glue. Clean up all the edges with just a wet brush. Annabelle has some freaky smile lines and some really dramatic cheekbones, so I'm drawing the outlines of those edges, and now I'm going to add a layer of just concealer over my powdered eyebrows. Put it on thick, and then powder it on heavily. And don't inhale it. Using my handy dandy Wolfskins palette, I am going to be changing the shape of my face right before your eyes like a magician. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm following a reference image to copy her weird facial structure, but I'm basically using a medium tone from this palette since it's so much darker than my skin to create really high arched brow bones, making my nose way narrower, making really deep smile lines and giving me some really intense contoured cheekbones. And now I'm just drawing the outline of what will be my giant doll eyeballs. To really create some dramatic contrast between the shadows, I decided to cover up all of my regular skin tone with a really light tone from that Wolf Skins palette. This is just any of the high points, like the cheekbones and the tops of my lips and my forehead. Blend out the edges just so they smooth together with a wet brush. This is what's awesome about water activated body paint is you can just smooth together colors like that. Fix any imperfections with a sponge. With Wolf White, Yellow, and Black body paint, I'm mixing it together and I'm creating sort of splotches all over my neck and my face, and then adding some freckly, stipply patterns with brown. She kind of has like this weird, nasty skin tone. I'm gonna create some super intense blush because this doll has some crazy rosy cheeks. So I'm just mixing together some pink and red to create the tone I wanted, and then going over the center with more red, and just sort of dabbing it and blending it in a little bit with some sponges, and then fixing it all down so it doesn't crack with some MAC Fix Plus, because I love that stuff. With my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette, I'm just using a dark brown and going over again with like a feathered brush the really deep areas of my shadows. This is on my cheeks and in my smile lines and also the creepy ball joint on my neck and creating these weird false arches on my eyebrows, which is my favorite part of the makeup. I just love it because my eyebrows are gone. It's so weird. Then fill in your shoulders and follow all of the same techniques used on your face. Don't forget those freckles and add a little bit more freckling on your face if you need it. Darken up those shadows with some brown body paint. Outline your future eyeballs with some really messy black eyeshadow. I had to include this guys because Team Power Giraffe is like my favorite band and I thought this was so much fun. Continue adding black eyeshadow around what will be your doll eye. Take a selfie and then dab some of that black and brown all over your skin just to make it dirty a little bit more and then also go in all of the shadows and then add a little bit of a highlight on top of where your neck attaches to your doll shoulders. Annabelle has this super cute frilly white dress so I'm going in with a white wolf body paint and just covering everything that I have drawn on my body thus far. Then with gray I'm going to create the first color for the shadowing. I am outlining all of the ruffles and the deep parts that the poofs of my shoulders attach to the main part of the dress. This is when I'm shading the waves for the ruffles. Basically just add black to the deepest parts of the ruffles and then also go on your shoulder poofs and create little creases where the fabric would bunt. Don't mind me while I get some water. 
<laughs> Adding a little bit more black to the mixture, I'm putting some more shadows in selective areas, basically the deepest parts of the ruffles and where the shoulder puffs attach to the dress. And then I'm just adding little triangles on the edge of all of the ruffles to really deepen the folds of a fabric. I strongly recommend you follow a reference image when painting fabric because painting fabric and folds is no joke. Create a dark red by mixing a red paint with a black paint and we're going to be filling in, I don't know clothing terms, but make a red line atop the beneath the ruffles. Do the things. Then with Mayron Clown White Cream Makeup, I am adding really stark highlights on all of the ruffles. This is the part that would jut out from the skin so it gets a highlight. I'm adding a few more gray shadows and blending them out on my shoulder poofs. Then going back with my cream white and creating super stark highlights up at the top of the dress where it would pop off my skin. And I love you guys, thanks for supporting me. Make those shoulder poofs look poofier by using some cream white on top or wolf body paint, whatever works better for you. I used both. And then I'm using dark black, really dark, I mean dark, dark gray. Black is pretty dark already, folks. Um, so just, just make the wrinkles of your dress a little bit darker by adding some more black to your gray mixture. And any time you add a shadow, you really just want to feather it out with a wet brush because it makes it look more realistic. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to throw in some dance moves. Don't forget to eat some of your favorite snacks. These are so good. Give your red clothing band a drop shadow by just adding a little bit more black to the mixture and going underneath it. To make clothing look like you're actually wearing it, you want to create a slight drop shadow from the clothing's edge to your skin with any old gray eyeshadow. Deepen the ruffles a little bit with the same color. Extend your smile line just with the gray eyeshadow in the corners and then also contour the lower part of your lip and then the edge of your nose. This is my favorite part because it's just so ridiculous. So I mapped out her crazy high eyebrows with a black eyebrow pencil in super intense arches and then filled them in with wolf black body paint. Using a MAC lip liner in the color Beat, I outlined the edges of my lips keeping the center really pointed and then the lower lip is really small following a reference image. And then I decided I needed more blush because her cheeks are just so red. Priming my eyelids finally, we are moving on to the tough part, which is creating doll eyelids over my eyes, and oh my gosh, did you see the doll in the mirror? Mix together a gray and a black to create a dark gray, and then outline what will be your future doll eyes, and then smudge them out. It looks like she was wearing not waterproof mascara and then went swimming. And then darken the center again to create some eyeliner. Add some freaky doll lashes. They are very symmetrical, so try to keep them the same on both sides. And now you're so fabulous. Mmm, yes, that face though. On most of the movie posters, her eyes appear to be a strange brown color, so I mixed together brown, yellow, and white to create this creamy beige color. And I'm outlining the shape of the iris, and anytime you paint on your eyelids, you have to make sure you dry it off completely before blinking or opening your eyes. After I filled in the rest of my eyes white, I'm going in with brown into the centers of my eyeballs and then spraying it with Max Fix Plus and then adding some white highlights onto the irises and also black for the pupils. So this next bit of work could have easily been avoided if you just had a wig, but I decided to get creative with my hair, pulled the front back, pinned it, and then flipped it forward to create these crazy bangs. And then I just braided the rest of my hair. And you're done. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. I am so excited for the new Annabelle creation. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday.